Buddy, this is Beetle Five. Welcome to another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here. Hello, everyone. And today we will be reacting to Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie Death Battle. Now, I just, I don't even know. I don't. <laughs> For one thing, I don't. Even, I, I can't even look at this death battle as a serious death battle. Because, uh, was it me and Ginger aren't bronies or anything, so we wouldn't know uh, any better. But apparently, yeah. Pinkie Pie is like Deadpool is another master of breaking the fourth wall. So I can only assume okay. that this whole fight is just gonna be for shits and giggles. And if there actually is to be a victor or not, I'm probably gonna say Deadpool for obvious yeah, reasons. Most I mean, Deadpool's an actual <laughs> badass who will kill shit, and plus. No form of media in this day and age will let Deadpool lose. So That's true. That's <laughs> he's true. automatically guaranteed to win. So if, if if that even matters in this fight. So Deadpool, obviously. But I don't yeah. know. I think we just got to enjoy this death battle for its comedic relief. Oh, yeah. So let's start this death battle then in three, two, one, go. Before we get into the episode, I Whoa, wanted to Christmas let you know that all. all our games are on sale for the holidays. That's AVGN 1 and 2, Disorder, even the all-new Super Rad Ray Gun. There's discounts on all I heard available platforms, some really good. That's like their screw new game they just so made up. So click the link in the description, Super pick up Ray some Gun. games, and save some cash while supporting us. Alright. Here we go. Fiction has a very fragile set of rules. Authors <laughs> should be wary. Ain't I a small stinker. crack can be enough to smash the balance. Oh, oh, oh my god, I remember that episode of Fairly Odd Parents. Are we really doing this? We're really doing this. <laughs> well, here's Deadpool, Marvel's Merc with the Mouth. <laughs> and Pinkie Pie, Equestria's Peppy Party Pony. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> Loneliness, depression, cancer. Oh, they're doing death first. When you think oh, yeah. of the Merc with a mouth, these are unlikely to be the first things you associate sorry, with the assassin nobody called Nobody doesn't know Deadpool. Deadpool's origin story at this point. Yet, before the red and black yeah. suit, these were the ingredients in the life of Wade Wilson. Blah, 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 we've been over this before. How about we just skip to the best parts? <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up! <laughs> you just can't skip my amazing origin story like that. <laughs> I have a movie now, so we have all this crispy new footage to use. For educational purposes, of course. <laughs> and she's back! Where's my shotgun? Just ignore him. In short, oh Wilson was a mercenary who developed cancer. I had 34 tumors. They were literally everywhere. So, the guys who messed with Wolverine picked him up, injected him with weird healing fluids, and turned him into a rotten testicle. <laughs> hey, that would have been a much better superhero name for you. Whatever you say, Captain Bucktooth. You know as well as I do that I'm kind of a big deal, and I've always lived that lit, fresh mercenary life. <laughs> and I even partner up with famous little Wolvie on occasion, like when I worked with the X-Force. <laughs> Where's your mute button? I probably left it in the Savage Land after my dinosaur rodeo. <laughs> Where the what? Oh, yeah, check it out. I took a selfie. Hashtag no filter. Huh. <laughs> Would you look at that? Speaking of Wolverine, Deadpool gained a healing factor from those experiments, which easily trumps anything the X-Men can break do. It, baby. Baby. He's strong enough to redirect a rogue helicopter, fights faster than a normal man can react, and is an expert marksman with virtually any weapon he touches. That to all my so adoring awesome. fans out there, oh, yeah. you know what I'm all about. Swords. I got them. They're made of this nanoceramic fiber sharp enough to cut through Spidey's webs and right through his franchise. <laughs> Grenades, oh shurikens, bolas and size, all that good Naruto stuff. Oh, that I good got them on deck, baby. Stuff. Personal fave, though? Bullets. I spread them like Santa spreads Christmas joy. <laughs> Are those Heckler and Cosmark 23 pistols? Yeah. But they can be whatever you want them to be, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh, right, you got the magic bag with the elephant. Wait, magic what satchel. are you talking about? What elephant? After gaining his enhanced abilities, Deadpool's life only got stranger. <laughs> He's gone on time-traveling adventures with the mutant cable. cable, joined the Agent X mercenary force, temporarily gained the power cosmic, and even got involved in a love triangle involving yep. death. 
Oh, that whole debacle? Okay, so get this. You know the Grim Reaper? Spectre of Death and all that? Well, turns out she's this sexy hot skeleton, babe. And she totally digs the Deadpool. But our Facebook status is still on It's Complicated. Because I'd have to die to be with her. And then Thanos shows up to try and take her for himself. He cursed me with immortality so I could never see my boo again! But he later took the curse back because he really wanted to kill me! But he can't because then I'd win! And he knows it. <laughs> yeah, and I thought I had issues! I suck to be a galactic lord! Ah! Good for a Vancouver Canadian, right? Yeah. Deadpool may be effective as a wisecracking merc, but when he gets serious, he becomes nigh unstoppable. As far as super enhanced cancer written assassins go. He's gone toe to toe against Captain America, infiltrated Doctor Doom's country of Latveria, and defeated a horde of 100 ninjas while talking on the phone. Even if you could dub that fighting skill, Deadpool's healing factor puts him oh, on a whole other level. Oh my god! It's let him die first really out of a moving plane, plane. plane. survive oh, a yeah. friggin' Chrysler building falling on top of him, <laughs> strode right out of nuclear explosions, and even regenerated from being turned into a puddle. Though that same healing factor is also part of Deadpool's biggest weakness. Hey, you dissing me, bub? No, Boomstick actually has a pretty good point. Years of immortality has uh, let you get away with Canada! being sloppy in your approach, <laughs> yeah. which allows that a clever a enough opponent to movie. gain an upper hand. Like this. Cockshot! Hey, what? What? Oh, hey, 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 what's that? What are you doing? <laughs> no! You monsters! <laughs> I won't go the way of Amazing Spider-Man! Oh, <laughs> oh. Whining, you'll be back. No! Whining, you'll be back! <laughs> Since when could you do that? It's been two years since our last Deadpool episode. I've had plenty of prep time. <laughs> oh, okay. The land of Equestria. A magical kingdom full of rolling plains, beautiful mountain ranges, and rainbows. A place where you just can't help but be happy. Unless you happen to live on a rock farm. The hell's a rock farm? Like a quarry? No, no, no. They literally farm rocks. For these ponies, rocks were their life. They harvested rocks, they sculpted rocks, they played with rocks, they built their homes from rocks, they even ate rocks. <laughs> well, one pony on this farm wasn't quite as rock crazy as the rest of her family. Oh no, she's a whole nother level of crazy. Oh this God. is Pinkamina Diane Pie. Just call her Pinkie Pie. One day, chipping away in the grueling rock fields as always, Pinky witnessed something that would change her life really like forever. Shimmy Colors! Shimmy the very wow. sight of this unprecedented explosion of color, which originated from Rainbow Dash's first legendary Sonic Rain Boom, oh, instantly yeah. brought Pinky the most joy she had ever felt in her life. Brimming with happiness, she oh, wanted to have share her newfound jubilation with her grim-faced family. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Stayed up all night, organizing <laughs> a surprise party. party. It was so out of the shit. chain that it made them all smile for the first time. Which was actually quite horrifying. That's when Pinky finally realized that her life's mission was meant to bring joy to all. Wait, what's that thing on her butt? Oh, that's a cutie mark. Every pony gets one when they discover their calling in life. Oh, I got one of those. After I found out alcohol and guns were my calling, I woke up and found a beer bottle crossed with two shotguns on my left butt cheek. Boomstick, that's a tattoo. You don't remember it because you've passed out drunk in the parlor chair. But booze and weapons do define my life, don't they? Well, sure, but... Then it's fate. Anyway, now that she had something better to do than farm rocks for a living, Pinky left like home and ended up drugs. in Ponyville. She landed a job in bed at the Sugar Cube Corner Bakery and set off to befriend every single pony in town, usually with a welcoming song and dance. Welcome, 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 a fine welcome to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to battle. How do you do? <laughs> what the Wait, fuck? She's the... actually here. How does it know, Wiz? Uh, I How guess now's as good a time as any to mention that Pinkie Pie also sees past the fourth wall. Oh my Sorry, can I interrupt you guys? <laughs> no, we were just trying to do oh a show, God. but yeah, by all means, tell them about yourself. I right, go grab a beer. Well, I can sing, I can dance, I throw the bestest parties, I can- No, no, no! The awesome stuff! Give them some <laughs> Oh my God, illegal. I forgot that that what? game is fucking real! I've never heard anyone! Well, is there a game after that? Yes, there's a game. It's That's why I never be home without my torch cannon. Usually this week school, can set up an entire party in a single shot. Brain. But when things get tough, I use it to smother my enemies in bubblegum cake batter. Oh, it's my own <laughs> recipe. Wanna <laughs> try some bubblegum cupcakes? They're fresh and sticky. Yeah, oh. good. Okay, this is real also, life. I think one time my party cannon blew up half a building. Uh, but that 
totally wasn't my fault! <laughs> uh, well, Pinkie Pie's party cannon is child's play compared to her own abilities. Her body seems to have highly elastic properties, oh allowing her to stretch impossible so distances. So many cartoons can like do balloon, this! <laughs> or more practically, shake off hits powerful enough to send her through walls. Bathtubs are dangerous! On top of all that, her mane can morph into a drill and tunnel through the earth. <laughs> She's fast enough to keep up with Rainbow Dash, and she can control the very laws of physics! I... So, um, do we walk back up the slide, or, or what? Even if you think you've got the upper hand on her, she's got her own pinky sense that lets her predict oncoming threats. What? The twitching means my pinky sense is telling me that stuff's gonna start falling. Sometimes what the fuck? a bunch of random things happening to my body at random times that supposedly predict the future. I call them combos. Her pinky sense is so precise, she can expertly maneuver through a collapsing skyscraper I... under construction while saving four other ponies. Pinky sense? How about nonsense? None of this is scientifically possible. <laughs> yeah! You just have to believe in things, even if you can't figure them out. Uh, no, I can't do that. Deciphering the impossible is literally what we do here. <laughs> what the hell's with all these ponies? Are they all like this? Why? Oh, this madness goes even further. Even if you were to somehow damage Pinkie Pie's body, she can just reassemble herself on the spot. And no one can escape her, not even Rainbow Dash. You know, the pony who can fly over 3,800 miles per hour? Yes, we should all be thankful that she uses these powers the for fuck? good. With the help of her friends, Pinky saved the world several times. Like when her group went up against a glowy horse powerful enough to move the moon. Pinky's spastic demeanor might make her seem like a hapless child, but she's actually pretty smart. She knows the names, birthdays, preferences, and locations of every single citizen of Ponyville by memory. She's oh. so meticulous, she plans things out decades in advance from her secret party planning bat cave. She also frequently alters her own personal gravity without having to affect the world around her. What? By inexplicably changing physics like this, Pinkie Pie is theoretically capable of, well, just about anything. Okay, for a baby pink pony, this belly is actually kind of scary. Only way it could get any worse is if there were a whole army of Pinkie Pies. <laughs> Funny you should say that. No! What no. the? No, no, no! I can always use the mirror pool. My Nana Piggy taught me how to use it to duplicate myself over and over oh and over and over and over. God. No more, no more. Just no walk back to Ponyville. You'll you'll be getting a new visitor soon, very soon. Like right now, soon. <gasps> okay, good. Really? Oh my gosh! I can't wait! <laughs> well, good thing she's easily distracted. She may be some weird, ultra-powerful cartoon being, but she's anything but a fighter. What's more, she can be emotionally fragile at times. If her mood turns negative, she loses her will to do the one thing she loves most, spreading happiness to every pony she meets. And like it or not, Pinky will spread happiness to you, no matter how hard you struggle. Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited, well, except for the time that went, <gasps> but I mean... Oh my all right, the combatants are okay, so to end this cool. debate once and for all. I, it's time I for a death battle! I truly don't fucking know. And I really don't fucking care. <laughs> this this vote is not applicable. Oh! Majora's Mask music! Yeah! <laughs> Turn from the, no, 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 Ocarina of Time. This is a... Oh, oh, yeah. Ocarina of Time, sorry. Tur tur it's a Terminal Field. Yeah. What? They got Legends out or something? Well, shit, he just gets spawned in the pony film. <laughs> oh my god. Ow! Dude! Oh, hello again, Death Battle. Hi, so, Deadpool! Who's the lucky victim? <laughs> you cannot be serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! None of that! None of Shame that. on you! Oh. I'm gonna welcome you one way or another! Fuck! This is. They fucking broke the shit! Yeah, they broke the shit! <laughs> Street Fighter! Well, I'm gonna turn you into glue! <laughs> he uses the. the. show you can. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you beat her. Help me, sir! 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Like Ryan Reynolds Senpai once said. <laughs> Maximum <laughs> effort! <laughs> Yo, I'm late, Steve! We're going viral! <laughs> Wait, 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 whoa! You see those things too? <gasps> oh! Yeah, I mean, usually they're kind of annoying, but. Say no more, Johnny. Oh, they're a Steam game. That was On so cool. On the count of three, say what your favorite food is. Favorite One, two, three, chicken chicken chicken. Chicken. The oh Hex! God. A cherry chonga! Oh, that's the most delicious, most awesome thing you've ever tasted! Damn! <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mercilessly. <laughs> what the f- They're friends now! What the fuck is going on? Captain America is a bad man! Is responsible for sticking us in these battles in the first place. Oh, you mean with some boomstick? Oh no, I'm talking even more meta. I think it's time we had some real fun. What? What? The <laughs> that was the last off. time I ever made no, a that's about a pass! Oh my god! You! I finally found you! The idiot with the stupid face, <laughs> the idiot with the stupid hair, Chad. and the idiot who writes my jokes because he I'll thinks he's funnier than me! Well, I mean, I did write that one, so... I did write that! It's me. I just got one question for you all. Just one! Why, oh why, would you pull me into another one of these battles <laughs> on my birthday? Come on! <laughs> What the f- What the fuck? <laughs> well, so much for the death in death battle now, right? Another happy <laughs> <laughs> uh, What the- Where's the carnage? What the What a cop out. I don't- I- I can't- This isn't how it's supposed to be. I mean, I guess it makes sense when you think about it. What? Weren't you the one who said breaking the rules would careen what? out of control or whatever? Don't ask me, this wasn't my call. So, who wins? Who loses? Who cares? Oh, I think the loser is us. <laughs> Pony! <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Chad of the Boomstick. I'm Bad at Play Wiz, and thanks from the entire Screw Tech and Death Battle team for watching our show through 2016. Also, quick shout out to our animators, researchers, voice actors, and other freelancers who have helped us make this awesome season three. There's a lot of them. Yeah. And uh, the wait isn't too long this time because Death Battle returns in February of 2017. And stick to our channel and check out because we're revealing the next matchup in January. And it's one you guys have been asking for for a while. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, it's Ooh, thanks, guys. something you've been asking for for a while. Wait. Oh. Okay, okay, if I'm gonna make a prediction here, I'm going to predict it because I know it's been requested a lot of times. I predicted they're finally gonna do Ruby Rose versus Maka Albar. Yeah, that'd be nice. That, I've been requesting that that foul for a thousand fucking times over. So if they finally do that, oh yeah, it, it'd be God. But anyways, that I didn't, I knew I didn't, wouldn't expect anything out of that death battle, but it was, it was fucking it, hilarious. It was such a good first oh season finale. Oh my god, finale. that was, that was, that was a great season finale. So it was beautiful, hilarious, yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment of what else we react to in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.